very much for supporting our conference. After this uh, presentation, we will uh, close the session and have a photo with the panelists and chairs. Uh, please, Dr. Ahmed Shahawi, proceed. Right. Thanks very much. But firstly, I'd like to express my great thanks and deep respect to all attendants. And it's an honor to me to be here with Fujifilm Company. Um, it's exactly uh, this is Dr. Ahmad Abdul Wahab. I'm working at the clinical application specialist of the MRI and CT imaging software in the Middle East and Africa within Fujifilm. My talk entitled Within Fujifilm Advances Visualization Post Processing, the surgical planning tool based on the artificial intelligence, which is the Synapse 3D. Exactly, in fact, within 15 years ago, the Fujifilm company collaborated with the Osaka University in Japan to develop, deliver, and optimize a highly software, sophisticated software for surgical planning and the result was the Synapse 3D workstation, exactly. It's exactly new Fujifilm technology era based on the optimizing image quality and the fully automated, uh, exactly. Also, it's now, it's exactly to be considered the most advanced uh, platform for the surgical planning within the three dimension, auto-segmentation, auto-detection, and auto-separation as well, empowered by the uh, artificial intelligence method, which is called the Relay method. So considering the Synapse 3D, Synapse 3D is exactly uh, compatible and synergetic with the all multimodality of imaging, whatever CT, MRI, X-ray, ultrasound, mammography, DEXA, BET-CT, BET-MRI, and also within the nuclear medicine gamma camera. And the main objective of the Synapse 3D for 3D surgical planning uh, is firstly is the auto detection of the different anatomical structure with easy, fast, and reproducible pattern, and further virtual procedures for lesion margins and volume detection, and optimized procedures for anticipate risk, highly outcome, and reduce the intervention time as well. Considering the Synapse 3D workflow for surgical planning, it's easy to work and to share the results within anyone, anywhere, and anything. The idea here is the exporting of the DICOM image with the Synapse 3D server, and then transferred within the technical technologist for post-processing, and then transferred within the radiologist for interpretation, and shared the report within the different energy stations, whatever the thoracic, energy, thoracic surgery, neurosurgery, cardiosurgery, and the general surgery, and also be transferred within the teleradiology, within the conference room and the operating room. Now, in brief, I'm talking about some of surgical planning modules based on the Synapse 3D, and the first is the lung analysis resection station. You know that within the lung cancer resection, the separation between the pulmonary vein and pulmonary artery is very difficult due to the similarity between the pulmonary vein and pulmonary artery, as well as the complex structure of both of them. But using the Synapse 3D within this exactly, within the Langer section station, it's very easy. It's one click only to extract all of the pulmonary vein, pulmonary artery as well as both lying with their lobes and all the venous structure at the trachea, bronchus, and bronchioles as well. And by the way, the Synapse is really able to extract the pulmonary vein and pulmonary artery even within the contrast and non-contrast imaging. And regarding the, the lung resection or lung cancer resection, here the Synapse 3D play a very important role to specify the nodule or the cancer or the tumor within the lung from its position, its signal intensity, and its relation to the internal structure. You can see here from the volume rendering that this is exactly a nodule with complete close relation within the pulmonary vein and relation between the pulmonary artery, as well within the trachea and also the uh, pulmonary uh, or pronchioles. And considering within the lung resection, the Synapse 3D able to simulate 
the surgical planning from the insertion, the bronchoscope from trachea, to guide the surgeon within the which is the best way to reach and the resect the nodule. Another station exactly is the vortic valve. Your analysis. doctor will use the guide wire yes. to pass a flexible yeah, tube valve called a catheter is very through your aortic clinical valve. clinical cases within the stenotic oh, and the calcified aortic valve. The idea here, the surgeon needs to insert a catheter or a stent which actually loaded within the new artificial valve to replace the stenotic and the calcified valve. So here, once you load the image or CT imaging or cardiac imaging within the synapses 3D, it's exactly one click to extract the heart, myocardium, atria, and ventricle as well, as well within the aortic valve. And it's very important to be considered able to do the insertion of the stent within the three dimension as well as you can do the calcification measurement and the Blake measurement within the aortic valve as well. And also we can order the cusp of the aortic valve, whatever the right cusp, which is the origin of the right coronary, the left cusp with the origin of the left coronary, and the non-cusp as well. And also you can stimulate the surgical planning from A to D. Another point to consider within the mitral valve analysis, which is also very important within some clinical cases, uh, uh, the cardioablation or the catheter ablation. In the clinical cases of the, what's meaning of the TAVI or TAVR, it stands for the transarterial or transaortic catheter within the aortic valve replacement or the implementation. The idea here exactly is the insertion of the catheter and this is very important to be considered the ablation, the uh, uh, region within the left ventricle of the left atria, which is called the arrhythmia for clinical cases, though the arrhythmias of the uh, uh, ventricular tachycardia, supraventricular tachycardia, or premature contraction ventricular, as well as the atrial fibrillation and the atrial flutter. Once you load the image within the uh, uh, synapsis 3D, the synapsis 3D able to extract uh, in one click the left ventricle, the left atrium, pulmonary vein as well, uh, as well to be considered a, a measurement of the calcification area within the award mitral valve analysis and also detect the plaque area within the mitral valve analysis and also able to, within the measurement of the uh, annular station, able to measurement exactly the flatter or the stiffness or the tissue ablation of the left ventricle as well. Another point considered within the abdominal cavity HHPP, which stands for the hepatopancreatic papillary or the pile back surgery within the abdominal. It's a very important and special surgery within the liver, pancreatic, and bile back team. I'm talking now in brief about the liver surgery and to reduce the risk of the liver surgery, whatever within the liver transplantation, we have to do a surgical planning to reduce the stress, whatever within the neuro and the recipient as well. And considering the procedures within the liver analysis for the surgical planning, liver transplantation or the liver tumor resection, it's exactly start within the registration and then the liver volume extraction Extra vascular extraction and the liver segmentation and the final is the interactive PTF. Uh, so we have to go through to save time within these items. Uh, this is based on the artificial intelligence. Once you load the CT image uh, within the station, it's auto registration directly and with one click only based on the liver signal intensity and the auto labeling, it's able to extract the liver complete extraction. Considering the vascular simulation or the vascular extraction, the synapsis 3D, based on the difference within the signal intensity, able to extract all the vasculature nature within the liver, whatever the hepatic artery, veins, and portal vein, and all the papillary tree. So you have to here, within one click, able to extract the hepatic artery, and this is a portal vein. Another point to be considered within the hepatic vein, which it takes for a long time within the old vision of the workstation, and this is able to fuse within the MRI image and the CT image to extract exactly the papillary claim. So, totally I wanted to say the Synapsis 3D within the Fujifilm company able to complete extract within very fast and easy all the vasculature nature within the liver, whatever the pulmonary, whatever the uh, hepatic artery, hepatic vein, veins, and papillary with different color coded map. 
whatever within the qualitative and quantitative analysis as well. Another point to consider within the liver transplantation is the volumetry of the liver within the surgical planning. And based on the segmentation, and we have a lot of the approach within the segmentation in the literature, so the synapsis with the only able to be able the segmentation with very easy and lag within different color codes of the all segments of the liver. We wanted to say in some of the measurement exactly within the past length measurement, the synapsis 3D also able to detect the extraction area within the liver and all of this measurement can be reported easily and transferred to the surgeon. Another point here to be considered based on the artificial intelligence also, the synapse 3D able to simulate the surgical planning platform within the virtual hepatectomy. Why is that? And this is exactly by creating an interactive BTF report. And this interactive BTF report transferred to the surgeon who able to simulate the surgery within this stage in the real time exactly go through within different anatomical structure within the right and the left lobe as well, the vasculature structure, and able to do everything for the real presentation within the real surgery exactly here. This is some of clinical cases which actually done using the synapsis 3D. It's a case of the detection of the intrahepatic venous shunt by 3D, venography using the CT. And also another case on the, the hepatic venous reconstruction using the superficial femoral artery in the right lobe leaving a donor within the liver transplantation. And all of these clinical cases which actually done within the National Liver Institute uh, here, and thanks to Mr. Ahmed Kapil, who is the regional manager of the Synapsis 3D here, and Mr. Rabih Mansour, who is the country manager of the Synapsis 3D in Fuji Film. Another point to consider the pancreatic analysis, the same concept is the Synapsis 3D able to detect, separate, segment, and extract all the pancreatic legion, all the pancreatic uh, as well as the splenic or the venous structure at the pancreatic vein and pancreatic artery as well, and also simulate the simulation of the surgical planning for any surgical. And considering the uh, pancreatic volume or the pancreatic tumor, the synapsis 3D based on the artificial intelligence able to determine and measure the volume of the pancreatic cancer and also detect is it its stage and its nature, whatever is the malignant or the benign cancer. Another point to be considered within the abdominal cavity is the kidney analysis and also the synapsis 3D with one click only and easy to work and easy to share the report, uh, able to configure and to segment, separate and to determine and specify the contour of the kidney, specify the renal artery, renal veins, uh, as well as the ureter and extract the tumor and also observe the resection planning. Uh, another point to be considered is detect the blood flow within the renal artery to detect the ischemic simulation perfect. Uh, here, all of this within the CT imaging, another one to be considered within the MRI for the rectal analysis to separate exactly within the titulated image to extract the rectal, mesorectal, pelvic, artery, vein, and nerve as well. And the last one is the degeneration of the meniscus of the knee. I wanted to say in general, the Fujifilm unique technology able to deliver an outstanding application, an assistant tool for surgeon with high quality, powerful, easy, and quick war, which is the Synapse 3D. And finally, thanks for God, thanks for all, and sorry for long time. Thank you very much, Dr. Ahmed, and uh, I would like to end up this session with many, many thanks to our presenters uh, who enriched this uh, session, our panelists, and new guests. Thank you, thank you very much. Let's have a photo.